Gunsmoke. Brought to you by L and M Filters. This is it. L and M is best. Stands out from all the rest. Around Dodge City and in the territory on West, there's just one way to handle the killers and the spoilers, and that's with a U.S. Marshal and the smell of gun smoke. Starring William Conrad, the transcribed story of the violence that moved west with young America, and the story of a man who moved with it. I'm that man, Matt Dillon, United States Marshal. The first man they look for and the last they want to meet. It's a chancy job, and it makes a man watchful and a little lonely. <laughs> Chester. Well, what you got there? A mail. I stopped by the depot after breakfast. Looks like it's mostly circulars. Yeah, it is. Uh, and the Pinkerton people sure keep themselves busy sending circulars around, don't they? Well, if there weren't so many thieves and murderers, the Pinkertons wouldn't keep busy. Well, that's a fact. Can I look through this back? Uh, let's get rid of those two prisoners first, huh? Well, they're mighty surly this morning, Mr. Dillon. No? I'll bring him in. Yes, sir. All right, you boys have repented and saw the evil of your ways. The law's ready to forgive you. Don't be smart. You still got some fight left, huh? You'll find out. Well, go on in the office and fight the marshal. I didn't throw you in jail. You're an awful rough lawman. Uh-huh. You got a headache? There's no call to try to bust our skulls open with that gun of yours. What's your name, mister? You were too drunk to tell me last night. Jim Kando. Uh-huh. Yours? Lee Binders. How long you been in Dodge? We come on Santa Fe yesterday. You planning to stay? I'm not so sure after the welcome you give us. Look, Kando, you were drunk and trying to pick a fight with everybody you saw. I probably saved you from getting killed getting hanged. You didn't have to buffalo me. I wasn't doing nothing. What'd you throw me in jail for? For good luck. Huh? And because you're Kando's friend. That don't make sense. No? Maybe this does. Any more trouble out of either one of you and I'm gonna run you both out of Dodge. You sure keep a tight town, Marshal. Good. You've learned that much. Here. Here are your guns. Now take them and get out. You're pretty sure of yourself, Marshal. There are two of us, and your jailer ain't armed. I expect you're a killer, Kando, but you talk too much for a real gunman. Now go on, get out of here. Come on, Kando, I'm hungry. You're going to get killed someday, Marshal. I'll be real glad about it. Mean, ain't he? Ah, he isn't an ordinary drunk, Chester. There's something worse than that about him. Well, he's kind of shifty, all right. He don't look a man in the eye. He was staring at them circulars on your desk more than he was looking at you. Well, there'll be a circular on him before he's through. One thing. Candle's the boss of that pair. That doggone binders don't seem very bright to me. <laughs> you know, if it took brains to start trouble, Dodge would be as peaceful a town as Boston. i never been to Boston. No? Now, why don't you go? Mm -hmm. That's too long a ride for me. A lazy man like you will never see the world, Chester. Well, you're forgetting I'm also poor. Well, I keep telling you to save your money. 
You know, I just don't seem to hang on to it long enough to save any, Mr. Jones. <laughs> don't worry about it, Chester. I'll see that you got a decent bury in when the time comes. Yeah, you can look through these wanted circulars now. I got a letter to write. Thank you. What's the matter, Chester? Oh, my goodness. Well, what is it? Here, take a look. Uh, Jim Cando. It's him for sure, ain't it? Yeah, and he didn't even bother to change his name. I didn't read what he wanted for. Name, James Cando. Alias, none. Nativity, United States. Occupation, highwayman and murderer. Charged with a stage robbery and murder near Denver. Took driver prisoner and cut his throat. Act committed with help of unknown accomplice. Sent information to William A. Pinkerton, Chicago. No wonder he was staring at them circlers. I must have known there'd be one on him. Yeah. And I had him right here in jail. Well, if he's smart, he's probably on his way out of town well, already. Well, let's go find out, Chester. <laughs> the depot next, Mr. Dillon? Yeah, there's no train for a couple of hours, Chester. Well, they were still in jail when the stage left, so they must have walked. Oh, uh, we haven't looked everywhere. No, sir. But they sure skipped breakfast. Unless they're eating in their room somewhere. Wait a minute. What? They're coming out of the stable over there. Well, what's he got two horses for? Now, one of them's for binders. He's probably picking up supplies. You stay here. Yes, sir. Now, what do you want, Marshal? You won't get very far on that horse, Kando. He's spavin. It don't matter none. I'm renting him cheap. Oh, you didn't buy him? Why should I buy him? You ride off on a rented horse, and I'll be after you for horse thieving, too. I don't steal horses, Marshal. But what do you mean, too? Murder. <laughs> you gone crazy? Was Binders your partner? Somebody's been putting ideas in your head, Marshal. Yeah, William Pinkerton. Maybe I better get off this horse. Now, what's this you're talking about, Marshal? I'm arresting you for murder, Kendall. Marshal, why do you think I got off that horse? Down here on my feet. To try to bluff me? You think I'm bluffing? It's like I said in the office, you talk too much for a gunman. You're nothing but a cutthroat, Kendall. Now, I'll take that gun. Take it. <laughs> what do I care? You can't keep me in jail. Chester. Yes, sir? Kando's changed his mind about leaving town. Take these horses back to the stable. Did you get him locked up, Mr. Dillon? Yeah, he's not very happy about it. I just run into Lee Binder. She's coming to see Kando in a minute. I wish I could lock him up, too. <clears throat> sure is a good thing I looked through them wanted circlers, ain't it? Huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you, you get the credit, Chester. Yes, sir. Well, I try to keep my eyes open. I don't let very much slip past me. At, at least I try not. Marshal. Yeah. I gotta talk to him, Marshal. Okay, Binders. I'll go with you. Yes, sir. I sure don't miss much in them circles. I watch the 
You got a visitor, Candle. How'd you know I was here, Binders? Chester told me. Did he tell you why? They got a circular on you. That circular's lying. I ain't been near Denver. How'd you know it said Denver, Cando? You didn't see it. Well, wherever it was supposed to be. What happened? Did Binders hold the driver while you cut his throat, or was it the other way around? It didn't say nothing about me. It said Cando had a partner. They can't prove it was me. No, I guess they can't. Binders? Yeah? I want out of here. Well, sure, Cando. But what can I do? I ain't gonna stay here. You understand what I mean? Sure, sure, I understand. Then do something about it. Well, give me time, Candle. You've had enough time, Binders. Oh, sure, Marshal, sure. I'll, I'll be back, Candle. You better be. So long. Well, thanks, Marshal. So long. My Candle sure sounded mad at him, Mr. Dillon. What I heard. He was threatening him, Chester. What about? He was telling Binders to get him out of jail or he'll start talking. You mean about Binders being his accomplice? Yeah. Well, you think he'll try to bust him out of jail? Well, he's got to. Or he'll end up in jail himself. Yeah. And all because of me. Huh. <laughs> out from all the rest. Miracle tip, much more flavor. L&M's got everything. It's the best. Yes, L&M is best. Stands out from all the rest. L&M stands out for flavor. 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 The miracle tip draws easy. You enjoy all the taste. And notice how mild it is. L&M stands out for effective filtration. 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 No filter compares with L&M's pure white miracle tip. L&M's got everything. L&M, light and mild. America's best filter tip cigarette. <laughs> Long, Mary? Oh, that's okay, Doc. Ah, uh, well, a man came in with a bad tooth. I didn't have the heart to make him wait until after we'd had dinner. Oh, did you pull it? Uh, I pulled three of them. Oh, poor fellow. Oh, poor fellow. No, he sat there and he drank a pint of Tanglefoot whiskey before he'd even let me look at him. <laughs> Where are we going to eat? At Delmonico's? Yeah, that's good. <laughs> oh, did it? My God, oh, it's nice, Dan. Oh, did Cando get out of jail yet? No, not yet. Mm -hmm. Well, give him time. Binders has only had a couple of days to work on it. Ah, uh, we're ready for him. How? I hired two shotgun guards to sit outside in front, the one in back. See, you're taking this real serious, aren't you, man? Uh, just as serious as they are. They're playing for their lives, Doc. Both of them. Yeah. Well, here we are. Yeah, mm -hmm. go ahead. Thank you, thank you. Ah, there's Kitty. Shall we join her? Sure. Hello, Kitty. <laughs> you waiting for somebody? No. Sit down. Uh, thank you. Uh, oh, my. Uh, you'll get a free meal for putting up with us, Kitty. <laughs> you think I didn't have that in mind, Doc? <laughs> <laughs> you finished or you just starting? Oh, I'm having this coffee, Matt. Oh, that's not good for you. You should eat something, Kitty. I don't worry about getting sick. I'm a friend of the local doctor. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm serious, Kitty. Honest, no, no. I had a big breakfast about 10 o'clock, Doc. Oh, well, that's all right. Then we'll be all right. Where's Chester? He's at the jail, Kitty. One or the other of us stays there 24 hours a day now. 
Seems to me if you took the key to Candle cell and threw it away, that's all you'd have to do. Take forever for somebody to sew him up. Well, I've hid the key. Even Chester doesn't know where it is. You don't trust Chester? <laughs> no, I want to protect him, Kitty, if he's the one who's there when it happens. Oh, I see. I don't know why you go to so much trouble, Matt. Binders doesn't impress me as much of a man. No, both of them are more weasel than lion, Doc. Did I tell you how they killed that man in Colorado? Cut his throat. Yeah. They ought to hang. Well, if he does raid the jail, Binders is going to need help. Say, that reminds me, Matt. What? You know Jack Haney? Jack Haney? He's in town. Binders was having a drink with him over at the Long Branch a while ago. He was? Uh Uh-huh. Who's Jack Henry? He's a gunman, Doc, from Abilene. Oh, so that's the help Binders has been waiting for. Well, I'm going to go find out right now. You probably got a room at the Dodge House, Matt. Well, I'll try it, Kitty. Order me a steak, Doc. If I don't get back, you can eat it. Marshal Dillon, Haney. Open up. Hello, Marshal. I didn't say to come in. What are you doing in Dodge, Haney? Something wrong, Marshal? There might be. I've never caused any trouble here. No, not yet. What are you here for now? Nothing, Marshal. Man needs a change of scenery now and then. I'll be going back to Abilene in a few days. Uh huh. Lee Binders hire you? Who's Lee Binders? Don't lie to me, Haney. You know him. Okay, I know him. I had a drink with him. I know a lot of people. I said, did he hire you? What would he hire me for? I ought to run you out of town right now. But you won't. What? I know you, Marshal. You don't like being high-handed. Man's got to do something before you'll jump him. And I ain't done a thing. You're smart, Haney. But you just remember something. What's that? Jim Kando's going to stay in jail. And if you try to get him out, you're going to get torn apart with buckshot. And that's a pretty bad way to die. them is best. Stands out from all the rest. L&M's got everything. Everything? Everything. Best flavor? L&M stands out for flavor. The miracle tip draws easy. Let's you enjoy all the taste. Best filter? L&M stands out for effective filtration. No filter compares with L&M's pure white miracle tip for quality or effectiveness. Best tobacco? Highest quality tobaccos, low nicotine tobaccos, L&M tobaccos, light and mild. Every way, L&M is best, stands out from all the rest. How easy they draw, how mild they are. L&M's got everything. King size or regular, L&M is America's best filter tip cigarette. Talking to Jack Haney was a waste of time. But at least I learned for sure that he was working for Lee Binders. After that, there was nothing to do but wait. I heard from Pinkerton, and he said that it would be a couple of weeks before he could send a man down after Kando. It turned out that there was a reward posted for him. A thousand dollars. Well, that was fine. 
unless you were a peace officer. The reward didn't include lawmen. A couple of days passed, and then one night I went down to the jail to spell Chester. I said hello to the two guards in front, and then I went inside. But the office was empty. Chester. Mr. Dillon? Don't move, Marshal. What? You're having a chance. I'll take your gun. Okay, Binders. I got him. Oh, they made me answer you, Mr. Dillon. They, they'd have shot me if I hadn't. That's okay, Chester. I'd, I'd have come back here anyway. Oh, you know, Binders, I want to get out of this place. Don't get jumpy, Kando. Everything's going fine. I've been in this cell long enough. Calm down, I tell you. I'll calm down once I'm out of here. I'm doing everything I can. Now shut up. You said that once too often, Binders. For a man locked up in a cage, you talk mighty big. Get me out of here! You two quit arguing and we'll get this done. Uh, did you kill the guard out back, Henny? Hit him on the head. Might have killed him. They had Kando yell for me, Mr. Dillon. I walked right into him. Kando's still locked up, Chester. Don't worry about it. Where's the key to that cell, Marshal? Chester claims he don't know where it's hid. He doesn't know, Barnes. Well, it's a good thing you come along. Now, is it? Quit fooling around and find that key, Marshal. You men are no closer to getting Kando out of this jail than if you were over at the Long Branch having a drink. Where's that key? You'll never find it. Tell me, Marshal. Go on. Tell me. No. Shoot him, Haney. What do you think the guards out front will do when they hear a shot? Cut his throat, Binders. They can't hear that. Go ahead, Binders. Get it over with. No. <laughs> then I'm gonna kill you. Don't be a fool. I'm the only man in the world who knows where that key is. Wait, Binders. He's right. But I got an idea. What? There's a piece of rope back there. Go get it. Okay. What are you going to do with it, Haney? Chester, get over by them bars on Kando's cell. Well, I... Go on. Now turn around. Face this way. Give me the rope binders. Huh. Here you are, Kando. What will I do with this? Hang him. Well, I... Hang him. Put the rope around his neck and over that crossbar. Go ahead. Well, Marshal, how do you like this? Staring at him ain't gonna save his life. Wanna find that key? Mr. Dillon. Yeah. What, Chester? I'm okay. I ain't scared. Good. I'm ready. Don't tell him. Don't tell him nothing. Are you sure? I'm sure. Okay. Hang him, Kando. You hurt him, Haney. It won't do you any good to hang him. Go on, Kando. Wait till I get a good hold on here. Okay. Here goes. Look out, Haney! Marshal. Watch that door. I'll kill you, Marshal. Up and do it. My scatter gun tore him half in two. Give me your six gun. Yeah. Here. Yeah. I'm going in there after binders. You men run around back and hurry. Come on, Jim. Uh, 
All right, throw your gun out, Binders. You're trapped. Throw it out now. I give up, Marshal. Where's my gun? I give up. You okay, Chester? Yes, sir. He, he let me go as soon as you went through the door, Mr. Jones. Oh, good. Oh, you took an awful chance jumping Haney that way. Holly's dead now. And these two soon will be. What are you saying, Marshal? You still got nothing on me, except for this. Kind of. What? Tell Binders here. Tell him what? You gonna hang alone? No. I sure ain't. Yeah, you see what I mean, Binders? All right, lock him up, Chester. Yes, sir, but where's the key? It's hanging on the wall right there by Kando's cell. And now our star, William Conrad. Thank you, George. If you're a filter tip smoker, you should be smoking L&M's. When you try L&M's, the first thing you'll notice is how mild they are, how easy they draw. With L&M's pure white miracle tip, you enjoy all the taste. Try L&M's today. You'll like them. <laughs> Gunsmoke, produced and directed by Norman McDonald, stars William Conrad as Matt Dillon, U.S. Marshal. Our story was specially written for Gunsmoke by John Meston, with music composed and conducted by Rex Corey. Sound patterns by Tom Hanley and Ray Kemper. Featured in the cast were Paul Dubov, Clayton Post, James Nusser, and Joe Cranston. Harley Bear is Chester, Howard McNear is Doc, and Georgia Ellis is Kitty. Start smoking with a smile, with Chesterfield, smiling all the while, with Chesterfield. Put a smile in your smoking, just give them a try. Light up a Chesterfield, they satisfy. Put a smile in your smoking, by Chesterfield. So smooth, so satisfying, Chesterfield. You'll also enjoy Chesterfield's great radio show. Harry Como sings all the top tunes on CBS Radio every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Jack Webb stars in Dragnet on Tuesday nights. Check your local listing. Remember, listen again next week for another transcribed story of the Western Frontier when Marshal Matt Dillon, Chester Proudfoot, Dot, and Kitty together with all the other hard-living citizens of Dodge, will be with you once more. It's America growing west in the 1870s. It's drama. It's gun smoke. Brought to you by L&M Filters. This is the CBS Radio Network.